So previously I made a tutorial on stylized hair. In that video I briefly talked about the tube tool. But it has so much more to offer, both in hard surface and in organic sculpting. In this video I will talk about those. So this is the tube tool. If you select path or carve and then simply draw like this and tap on this circle, you get a tube. You can drag this point to adjust the thickness of this tube. If you want it to be straight, turn on grid and make sure this magnet is enabled. Now these points will snap to the grid, then validate. But this is just the basic. Now let me show you these other options and their functions through practical examples that you can use in actual projects. Let's pretend that this is a head of an animal and now you want to create horns. So select the tube tool, choose curve and draw something like this. Let's adjust the thickness. Now to make it pointy at this end, tap on radius and drag this handle. Enable the mirror and you have the same horn on the other side as well. We can still edit this. We can also add or decrease geometry. What if I want to change the shape? Tap on profile and it changes its shape according to this profile. You can edit the profile shape and also scale or rotate it. You can also twist it like a ram's horn by enabling twist. You can add arms and legs to your character the same way. I added the fingers of this character using the tube tool. So check out this video for that. Adding a plane is easy. You just go to add and then plane. But what if I want a wavy surface like this? Draw a line with the tube tool. Increase the thickness. Open profile and then disable closed. Now just edit this profile like this. I will rotate it and this way you can create a shape like this. You can create complex shapes like this for your hard surface concept and projects. Create a tube with the grid and snapping turned on. Open profile and start editing. I'll make something like this. It looks pretty sci-fi. You can also mirror the shape if you want. This is a new addition, super useful. Then tap on preset and tap on new. This way you can create complex shapes like this. Back to something much simpler. With the curve you can make a simple pipe. You can add more points by tapping on the line or remove them by dragging them close to another point. But pipes are not solid. If you disable the caps, you get a pipe, but there is no thickness and that's not looking real. So a better option would be hole. You can adjust this thickness by dragging this blue handle. I've made this piece of armor and at the edge I have added this border with the tube tool. But in order to complete the whole thing, I have to connect these two ends. In a situation like this, my best option would be closed. Tap on it 
and it's done, quick and simple. If you want to create a spring like object, all you have to do is tap on the three dots and enable the spiral. Then play around with this twist angle slider and you have a spring. You can easily adjust the thickness with these two sliders. You can also play around with the radius and profiles and create many interesting shapes for your projects. So I hope I have been able to showcase how powerful the tube tool is. Make sure to subscribe if you found it useful and I will see you in the next video.